this is what, where's he gone? This is what Tommy does when we leave the house. Look, look how sad he is because we're, because we're going. Well, I'm only going, he probably thinks we're both going. Tommy, has he gone? No, look, Tommy, you're breaking my heart. <laughs> He's so upset. He's so He's very upset with us. I'm sorry, my love. I'm sorry. Come on. So Vanya's going to have to take him home because he's not letting us go. And he's getting very, very upset, aren't you? I'm sorry. You're making me feel terrible. You're making me feel terrible. I'm a sausage. Oh, dear. Well, hello everybody. I have landed and I'm already in the car. That was so quick. That felt like the quickest trip I've ever made on a plane. It might be because I have just recently done a 15 hour plane ride from um, Shanghai. So that could be part of the reason, but it literally felt like I took a train from my house to Oxford Street. A blink and I was there and I didn't get anything done on the plane I wanted to get some work done get ahead of myself so I could really enjoy being here and not have to think about work but it didn't happen however I will catch up on some bits while I wait here my father is arriving in about 40 minutes he's supposed to be landing now but his flight has been delayed so I'm gonna wait here for him I'm so excited to see him this has become like a little father and daughter trip that we do coming here. I know we have lots to deal with while we're here, but it really has brought us together, which is really, really lovely. Also, I've rented the car from the same company that I rented it from in December, and it honestly feels criminal. I've rented the car for five days, and it's cost me nine pounds. Nine pounds. It's incredible, isn't it? And I've got a nice Peugeot 208, clean and comfortable, and it's just amazing. If you want to come to the Amalfi Coast or to Naples in February when it's 14 degrees at eight o'clock at night, there's not many tourists and cars cost you nine pounds for five days, then it's a hack. Because coming here from June to now November, the prices are astronomical. I'm gonna crack on with some bits while I wait for my father. Then we're gonna head up for pizza. Another tradition we have quickly made is we always stop at this particular pizza place in Tramonti which is just before Ravello when you drive up the mountain it's our favorite it's incredible it's this uh, Italian family that own it the pizzas are just incredible I'll link it in the description box for you if you are heading here and then we're gonna get an early night because we're up early tomorrow we have loads to do five days I've got to get my passport I've got to see lawyers I've got to make sure everything's okay in the house the list goes on. Good afternoon everybody, I am in my Audi. I wasn't gonna vlog today, but I had to show you um, the aftermath of Carnivale. So Carnivale falls around February, March. It's 40 days before Easter, and it was yesterday. No, yeah, no, it was Sunday. So the last day was the day before we arrived. And I'm so gutted, because it's an incredible Festa and we missed it. We missed it by a day, but I'm gonna to plan to come back here next year. Apparently it was the busiest they've ever seen it. It was busier than Ferragosto. It was packed here and the show was incredible. But what I will show you basically is the, what are they called? The floats, the, the you know, the, what they make that's on wheels. <laughs> You guys are gonna be screaming at the television of what this is called. And basically they get a theme every year. So in Viareggio is where 
this is its biggest, like its most celebrated. And Via Edge will put out the theme, and this year the theme was Italy. So you'll see in the structures, um, it's all Italian <laughs> themed, and I can show you the one that won, because it's in front of me right now. Um, I was also being told that in Venice, obviously, because there's no road for the floats to go down, that everyone dresses up in beautiful historical masks and um, costume also here everyone dresses up it looks spectacular i'm so gutted but i have enough time to think about my costume for next year and plan it so anyway let me show you they are being dismantled but i can catch a few of them before they do this one you can see in front here this is the winner this is the one that won and as i said the theme is italy and you can see very clearly that they've gone with Ferrari and oh because it's 50 years I think I remember it's 50 years of Carnivale is that correct I can't remember and there were 70 people of all ages dressed in red as if they were they worked for Ferrari so it was a huge team and they won so that was the one that won and then over here I don't know what that one is I don't know if that's Galileo I think that one was or was it this one? There's one there and you can see he's holding a tiny little statue of Pisa. And that one's already been dismantled over there. Just got the legs, legs there. I actually saw the head being driven off two moments ago. But it gives you an idea of what you could expect at this time of year on the Amalfi Coast. It's a huge celebration. I remember coming to it when I was really young and just having the best time. Myself and Stefania have the best memories of, of Carmi Valle with our friends here. They, sh they shut off the entire road. There's music, everyone's dancing, everyone's dressed up. Um, it's, it's come a long way because I can see now they have um, the dodgems, the cars, They've got a little Ferris wheel. I saw lots of fairground trucks, you know, when it's all packed away, dr driving off. So it looks like it's come a long way. So I'd love to see it. Next year, but I'm so glad I didn't even think, I did not even think about Cudney Valley. I was so focused on the things that needed to be done and getting here. But anyway, I've had a lovely day. As you can see, I'm super casual today. We woke up late, had a little sleep in and uh, went to my auntie's for dinner. Delicious as always. And then we went for coffee and saw my other auntie and just sat at the bar. The sun was beaming down and it was it was just a perfect, perfect Italian day really. Now we're heading home. It's about six o'clock. The sun's gone. It's a little bit chilly, but really warm for this time of year. It got up to 22 degrees, which is phenomenal. And the whole time I'm on the coast, no rain. So I'm very, very happy. And tomorrow, we have to Salerno to get my passport. I'm so excited. heading up to the top terrace because I want to show you guys the view from the top just look at this view February I think it's the 22nd it's about 20 degrees 10 o'clock in the morning there is not a cloud in the sky and <laughs> I'm so excited for the day. It's absolutely glorious. Good morning, everybody. I have woken up to the most glorious day here on the Amalfi Coast. The sun is splitting the skies and I'm just standing on my terrace. I'm ready to go, but I'm just taking this all in because these kind of days here are there's nothing like them. I know sunny days in the summer are incredible, but it can get too hot. So these days where it's really comfortable, the sun's shining, oh, it's, there's no better feeling. We are heading to Salerno today to get our passports. But first we're heading to the square, Taravello, which is just behind me here, to get some breakfast, I think. I'd like to go and shop the cashmere. There's a beautiful cashmere shop in the square. So 
I'm looking for a particular colour, a taupey colour to match my reformation cardigan. I want like a matchy matchy vibe. I can't, I couldn't find one in uh, London. So hopefully they've got one here. Um, grab some breakfast. I don't know if I said that. Hopefully catch up with a few people and um, just have a really lovely day in this incredible weather, in this incredible place. I'm so happy. I don't know if it's too dark, but this is my outfit for the day. I've gone for layering. I have my Intimissimi base layer, Beaufort and Blake white shirt, colourful standard um, crew neck that I got in this beautiful dusty olive. It's a new, new addition to the wardrobe, Everlane high waist jeans, Chanel bag, Chanel pumps, and I'm ready to go. Oh, and my Celine sunglasses. I'm just out of breath. Just gone up a few flights of stairs, for God's sake. And there we go. Listen to that. No cars. No noise. This is what it used to be like when I was a kid. Look, not one car, bike, traffic. This is quickly becoming my favourite month here in Ravello. church is open so I'll be able to show you guys inside it's such a beautiful church in Lavello and there's no one here so we get to enjoy it in a really peaceful way look at this they're doing some restoration works at the back it's probably why it's open but this is the church and where that man is is where San Pantaleone is which is the saint of Ravello we celebrate him on the 27th of July. And then, back into the square, you'll see it is empty. Oh my goodness, there is basically nowhere open. The two bars here are closed. The bar here is closed. The bar there, in fact, all the bars are closed. There's one bar, Bar Klingsor, just over there that's open, but the rest of it is closed. And it's so good. Again, this is reminding me of what it was like when I was a young girl. There wasn't really much. Oh, the cashmere shop is closed though. In fact, I can't do any shopping. Just walking down Via Roma and you'll see everything is closed. So I doubt I'm going to get any cashmere. <coughs> Ciao. I'm going to get any cashmere at all. No, everything is closed. Wow. I'm not upset. I'm not upset at all. <sighs> My goodness, I don't think. I remember the last time I had this much space. Flower shop's open. Oh. Hello, are you waiting? Clever cat. Outside the butchers. Restaurant's closed. Wow. Yeah, everything is closed. Heading back to the square. Since literally everything's closed, it looks like we're gonna have to head to Amalfi for breakfast. I'm sure something's open in Amalfi. Um, should've grabbed some content, some people-free content, it's amazing. No tourists. Oh my goodness. Just the locals basking in the sun at the edge of the square as they do on these glorious days they get here. I can't believe how incredibly quiet it is here. It's amazing. The levels of peace that I'm experiencing right now 
is incredible. I didn't think I could ever see this place this quiet ever again with the amount of tourists we get here. It's just incredible. I'm starving though, I can't get, I can't get any food, but it's okay. We're gonna head down to Panza. I'm just waiting for my dad to come down and then we're gonna head down. I'm absolutely starving. And I'm also getting my passport today, I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, oh, this is such, honestly, this is an absolute dream at the moment. I'm having the nicest day. I know there's not much going on, but I'm having the nicest day. I've taken a seat on one of the benches at the corner of the square. I don't think I ever do this in the summer, but look at that view. Given I'm not in the sun, but for a quick appreciation of this incredible square the ladies just shutting the church up it seems everyone's going for lunch it's about time so there really will be nobody left in this square i've been told there is one hotel that is open for tourists and there's like a handful of tourists and, and i can see a few of them just sitting at the one bar so there is a little bit of catering for tourism here at this time of year Villa Ruffalo, looking very serene. Wow, look at that. I might just have a walk around, why not? I have a residency card, so might as well get some use out of it. Wow. I'm in. I'm in with my residency. Oh, look at these pussy cats. Hello. Hello, gorgeous. Hello. Don't you live in a nice place? Oh, God, you're beautiful, aren't you? Aren't you beautiful? Yes. You're gorgeous. Yes, you are. Yes. Wow, oh my goodness. See, I never come in here because of the amount of tourists, so I just don't bother. But what a time. History about Ravello. Wow, look. In the 1950s. Here at Villa Ruffalo, this is where they have their concerts, and you can see over the years the type of people and the concerts they've been having. And over here are pictures. Over the years, this was Ravello Festival, 1961. And you can see that's the stage there. And the backdrop is the coast and that's where you watch the performances. It is spectacular. You have to experience it at some point in your life. This was 1935. Wow. 1932. Wow, look how everybody is dressed. Look. Oh, incredible. And there's the square, look. Oh my goodness. Wow. What I can see is a balcony in the distance. That is drawing me in and the soft sound of a piano playing.
There's some art on the walls in Kanto, it looks like. The ceramic floor in here is beautiful. Wow. These rooms are never ending. It's stunning, these rooms. Look at the ceiling. And this fireplace. We have a different floor in here, as you can see. Equally as beautiful. We have another balcony door here. I would love this to be my home. I <laughs> love it. Oh, wow. Look at that piece of furniture. All the books. Wow, oh, these books. I think this may be the last room. Yes, it is. Such beautiful pieces of furniture. I love this table with the marble on top. summer when all the flowers are bloomed but wait for it the spectacular view will be upon us in just a moment look at that oh my god oh my goodness wow and there's the famous tree wow you can imagine in the summer all of these flowers being very very colourful but of course it's February but equally as beautiful and here is the actual viewpoint I think I don't know if you can get a better view than the one we've just had but clearly wow I mean I've been coming here my whole life and it still takes my breath away it's so quiet. You can hear everything. You can hear the birds. You can hear the fountain. You can hear the bells. There's no noise pollution from the cars. I have had to cut this short because my father's waiting for me now and I need to get to an offer to get my passport but this has been wonderful and I must come back.
I've had to cut my spontaneous trip to Villa Rufolo short because my dad is now in the square and waiting for me. We've got two hours to get to Lerno. We have a tiny window between three and four to collect our passports. But first, I need breakfast. I'm absolutely starving. But oh, that was amazing. It's amazing not having tourists around. Sorry, tourists, but I can hear my own footsteps on the cobbled paved paving stones. You can see a few people making the most of today on the beach. That's exactly what I will be doing if I didn't have things to do. We've ended up in Saldiriso in Minori because of Malfi. I couldn't park the car. I can't believe it. It's February and I couldn't park the car. So, Saldiriso. sound crazy but I feel this is my nonna coming to say hello she's not scared we've also fed her some pan as well now of course good morning pure pure See, she's trying to get in. She keeps trying to get in. I don't know what's going on. Elvida. Elvida. Are you doing it? Oh. Oh. Hello. Hello, he's looking right at me. Hello. Are you a beautiful girl? Bye. 